how to make my cookies and cream cake with two layers of delicious sponge full of Oreos and an Oreo buttercream frosting. It is so good. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where today I'm making a deliciously simple but perfect cake which my cookies and cream cake. So imagine a delicious vanilla sponge studded with bits of Oreo and then a delicious Oreo buttercream. Two simple layers but honestly it's such a crowd pleasing cake. It's so tasty and you can you know switch it up if you want. You can make a chocolate flavoured sponge, use different flavoured Oreos, you can have fun with it. But I thought I would show you my classic cookies and cream cake for the perfect easy bake. So to start a cake like this, I'm gonna start off with my baking spread or you can use a room temperature unsalted butter, but honestly any baking spread or margarine works really well for a cake sponge. And then because I really want the Oreo flavor to come through, I'm just gonna use caster sugar. It's the basic flavor sugar that doesn't really, to be fair, flavor it that much, which is what you want in a cake like this. But if you wanted a slightly richer flavor, you can use golden caster sugar or a light brown sugar. And then of course, as always, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla because I'm just obsessed with it. I also actually get a lot of questions about what vanilla extract I use and it is the Nielsen Macy one. So I will link it in the description box, but it's the best one. It's a cold pressed vanilla, so it gets such a strong flavor and you really don't need much for the perfect baked sponge. But then for the other cake ingredients, you know, we've got your classics, a bit of self-raising flour, and of course your eggs. This is a five egg mix for a two layer sponge. So if you wanted to make it a bigger cake, you can multiply up for another layer, but this is just the perfect size for the two layers. And then of course, the main event for this cake is I add some Oreo chunks to the sponge. So for this, it's just one packet of Oreos. I break them up in my hands and mix them into the cake mix for this bit. They don't sink in the sponge. It makes it look pretty. It makes it taste nice. And you are going to love it. I'm gonna start by adding my butter to the bowl. And then I'm going to add my caster sugar. And then I'm going to mix these together until they're light and fluffy. Now my butter and sugar has blended together, I'm going to add my eggs. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. And then as I mix, I'm going to add in my self-raising flour. So now I'm gonna add a packet of Oreos and I'm just gonna break them up in my hand and put them into the mixture. I just break them up a little bit in my hand, roughly into quarters. And now I'm just gonna really briefly mix these into the cake mix and then it's ready to bake. And there you go. So now that my cake mix is ready, I have two eight inch tins. I've just lined them on the bottom with a little bit of parchment paper, and these are loose bottom ones just to make the cakes easier to get out at the end. But either way, split your cake mix evenly between the two tins, bake in your preheated oven, and then leave them to cool for 20 minutes or so before you put them on the wire rack to cool fully before decoration. Splitting the cake mix evenly into the tins just with my spatula, but of course you can weigh it if you want. Smoothing over the cake mix so it's evenly in the tin. So now my cake mix is evenly split between the two tins. I'm going to break it in my preheated oven. I always bake at 160 fan, it's about 180 regular. The method, timings and everything is on the blog post but it'll be about 30-35 minutes. But just keep an eye on the sponges and then leave them to cool in the tins for about 20 minutes and then cool them fully on the wire rack afterwards. So now that my sponges have baked and cooled fully, as you can see on the wire rack, we can make the decoration. For this one, it's a simple American buttercream frosting of some unsalted butter, which is just at room temperature. Again, like always, you don't wanna use a baking spread for buttercream, so this is block butter that is now warmed naturally to room temperature. 
Then I have some icing sugar. I tend to find it easier to use icing sugar that has got like a caking agent in it or an anti-caking agent because it stops the cloud of dust. This brand does not have that in it. So if you see a load of icing sugar everywhere, I can only apologize. I bought the wrong brand. But either way, I also have my Oreos. So the one thing I love about making an Oreo frosting is you just blitz them down. I use the biscuit and the filling when I do this, blitz it to a really fine crumb and mix it into your frosting and it just makes the most delicious flavor of frosting ever. So once the Oreos are at a nice crumb, it's just really, really fine and it will mix in really well. So I'm just gonna add my butter to my bowl then I'm just gonna mix the butter on its own for a little bit to make it really smooth. Now I'm just gonna add my icing sugar and make sure it's mixed in really well before adding the Oreos. Now this has all been mixed together, I'm just gonna pour in my Oreo crumbs and mix. Now it's lovely and mixed together, you can see how thick, smooth and perfect it is. Now that my frosting is ready, I'm just going to simply decorate this one by slathering some of the buttercream onto each layer just with a small angled spatula and then decorating with some extra Oreos on top. Yes, I know this cake has about three packets of Oreos in, but you don't have to use as many if you don't want to, I promise. But either way, you could pipe the buttercream on if you want. The only thing I'll say is because it does have the biscuit crumbs in it, make sure you use a larger tip such as a 1M or bigger. Don't use my normal 2D closed star piping tip because the Oreos will clog that piping tip, so nobody wants that. So either way, have fun decorating and I hope you enjoy this delicious cake. Make sure to peel off your parchment paper and then I just place it onto my serving plate. And then I simply dollop on some of the frosting and then smooth over. And then all you need to do is repeat with the top layer. Make sure all of your frosting is on your cake. I sometimes give it a little bit of texture with my spatula just for decoration, but you can make it smooth if you wish. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle over some little bits of Oreo just over the top of the cake and around the edge. That is how you make my easy and delicious cookies and cream cake. It's just a simple two layer cake that's a crowd pleaser, so tasty and so delicious. So make sure as always to find the full recipe and method on the blog post, which is linked in the description box. The ingredients are also below, as well as any useful bits I have used in the video. And of course, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe and come back next time for something delicious. Enjoy.